Erwin Lafloyel, IGN France, forced to apologize, then shit his pants. Striped shirt, baguette, he his time to shine. Tutu, straight jacket, cheese for that wine. Tiny, wee oui, wee, oui. sacre bleu, mon ami. Fuck you mean credibility, he said homosexually. Stella Blade bout to cause a murder, says some clown that you never heard of. Video games might make me kill, so Fortnite made me build IRL. Eve, if I'm not mistaken, slice motherfuckers with titties shaking, serving up chemical castration to modern gaming abominations. Got you screeching every hour. Stanky bitches need a shower. Do they have that where you come from? Do these words make you wanna grab a gun? Spreading both butt cheeks, we all watch you prance. Berries and cream, cramp that little lad dance. Pretty women ignite my fucking crotch. Games journals out here on suicide watch. Hamburgers, butter starch. Play with your dollies and hopscotch. This old man, he cracked corn. His birth was a mistake. Said pretty women equal porn. Just want an easy bake. Oven, that's not a real vagina. That's penis degloving. When it come to Stella Blade, people pushing and shoving. Salty, ugly, triggered bitches with an axe to grind. You thought you had worth? Allow me to remind. Woke review scored last year's bestseller 1 out of 10. Another cum gargling activist fucked in the head. Don't trivialize that I theorize that between your thighs lies a cock and balls. Skeet skeet to the window. Skeet skeet to the wall. Hello beta testers. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Comment or correct me below. But in what I can only describe as an egregious and gratuitous attack on Korean developer shift up, IGN as usual, must force their political politics into a discussion surrounding the first game from a mobile game developer, Shift Up. Journalist Ben Osolo unironically refers to the universally celebrated Eve of Stellar Blade, who has trended for weeks as, quote, bland and a hypersexualized doll designed by someone who has never seen a woman, end quote. When called on this, they decided to gaslight and imply that a mob, their words, of English speakers incorrectly translated what was said, but oops, ignorant journalists, just like the no research you did on Shift Up before your article, you're clearly equally as uninformed on how the internet works. After their politically charged misinformation campaign backlash from gamers, the same ones that they rarely represent as they write articles about gaming, they were forced to apologize. But only if you class what I'm going to read to you as an apology. And I quote, The original text of the Stellar Blade preview contained comments that were out of place. While it was never our intention to disrespect Shift Up or any of its employees or their work, we recognize that the phrase taken in the literal sense was inappropriate and we regret it. So this is, you know, an attempt for them to be like, oh, well, it's just a, it's just a phrase. It's a phrase that people use to call something bland and hypersexualized. Yeah. Right. Right. So after that, because that garbage apology wasn't enough, the editor in chief of IGN France, Erwan Lafloriel, loses his mind in a meltdown to say, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit, killed, denigrated, or who commit suicide because they cannot live up to the fictional standards expected by men. Imagine competing with a fictional woman and losing. The problem is not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to others, but hey, not that, oh my god, you're triggered. But the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality, obviously we understand that it does not shock people who think that women are objects who must obey and be beaten. Love it, because, you know, only people. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're a clown. You really. I'm so sorry. This is this could be contagious. You know, I'm I'm really sparing you something. Trying to read it for you. Frenchman has lost his mind. He saw an attractive woman and said, "The what?" You know, the design makes us sigh and roll our eyes, and we laugh at anyone who needs it, man or woman. And then he ends it with, gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy, coming from the guy just ass blasted, on his knees, gaping, dripping, triggered. 
over an attractive woman in a video game. And for a lot of the loser bitches you're seeing over here, it's because they're jealous. They don't want any other people to have attention other than people that look exactly like them and think exactly like them. But this dude, it's because it conflicts with the agenda. No. So to IGN France Editor-in-Chief Erwan Lafroriel, I salute you in doing your duty to kill silly games journalism as we know it, considering you assholes were floating around trying to inject all that fruity banana laffy taffy bullshit we ate it. And I think you need to be put on blast for how petty, ugly, and childish you're acting. This isn't about appearance. That's what you freak out about. And we're better than you. Ah, we're different than you. We welcome different opinions. We welcome variety. We wish to actually include and seek genuine equality, not whatever you're calling equality, not excluding and immediately mocking and denigrating, having all these negative things to say as you misinform under the umbrella the guys of journalism. So tell your gaggle of fucking helmet drooling bastards that you call journalists to to make you know you 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 want me to you want me to say some things that I need you to bake for me because I imagine you'd be better at that than you are writing a motherfucking article and doing some goddamn research. Why are people on YouTube better journalists than you? If you see shit like this, I want these words to hurt you. But they're just words, so how can they? You know. They're not sticks or stones. They're certainly not a bag of stones or a bundle of sticks. I imagine some of y'all already got that shit covered. I'll tell you what else is shit covered. Your dick, you know what I'm saying? I'm kidding. I don't know your sexual preference. It's a crass joke and poor taste, but self-awareness allows me to immediately highlight and recognize that, unlike all of the garbage you're willing to pump out in the way of the bile that you're calling journalism. But if you call attention to me and how crass I am, it'll call attention to you and how unprofessional you are. And that's what I fucking want. Because you're not the type of person to ever do the right thing because you should do the right thing. You're only going to be made to do it when you get enough backlash, enough attention to force you to actually do what you should be doing. That's who you are. That's what you are. A garbage journalist. You're entitled to your professional opinion and your professional opinion to be able to withstand scrutiny. I'm entitled to my unprofessional opinion and you're free to get your panties in a twist over them. Beta tester, a fascinating amount of people in the gaming industry need to signal how anti-white, anti-cisgender, or anti-hetero uh, that they are right now. And far be it from me to get involved in a train wreck when everybody on board is yelling, this is how I want to go, this is how I want to go out. So, you know. I just pull out the boom box and turn up, smack my bitch up and, you know, let's just record the train wreck, you know, get a, get all the angles on it. Don't interfere. Don't get involved. You don't need to be the guy, you know, oh, I want to be you. Dude, just get the angles. Okay. Horizontal. That's landscape. You fucking swine. And, uh, whoa, whoa, it's history you're watching here. Okay. The recently hilariously political and unprofitable games journalism publication Kotaku had their editor-in-chief resign because Kotaku was told to focus on guides since, again, unprofitable, but so against this was the at-the-time editor-in-chief of Kotaku that they decided to quit. However, Kotaku's master, Go Media is having a fire sale and everything that's not nailed down must go. So listen, the comedy here truly is that like an impressionable child who wants to be a streamer that they watch, okay? The talentless Gabe's journalists tricked themselves into thinking that they were intelligent or have a personality. So now their attempts at virality are in fact never more than poorly researched, charismaless rage bait from wannabe influencers, a turd scrawled in the digital equivalent of a dated newspaper that's equally as useless to anyone but content farming YouTubers, TikTokers, and real influencers who are happy to make money pointing at a picture of these sad, lonely clowns with asses full of enough smoke to think that 
people aren't pissing themselves, laughing at the Ganges runoff soaked opinions from these out of touch panty wearing illiterates that actually have the nerve to gaslight when fact checked instead of ever admitting that they're wrong. It's not just an embarrassment. When you mislead, you justifiably make enemies. And I will not police my speech or reserve myself in articulating that calling yourself reporters and deliberately failing to inform to push your agenda and reinforce false narratives should leave you at the mercy of these people that you rob of time and money through your dishonesty. Shift Up is a Korean studio and everyone in it could hate me, but you hate them for doing something right because it conflicts with all of that woke cult bullshit that you subscribe to. Erwan LaFloriel, your behavior is not human, and I'll hold you accountable for your conduct as no one else can. The only people that are okay with it are people who think women are objects. That's what you said, and I got your ass, my nigga. How about that? You gotta mention patriarchy because you're a hollow puppet of whatever dyed-haired fatty you hope will like you. No disrespect to any dyed-haired big-titty beta testers, but unless you whipping them out, you know, you're a man like everybody else, know what I'm saying? I'm kidding. I respect your fucking identity and shit like that. It's just like, on the internet, we're all guys. <laughs> Might as well be. To anyone following me on Elon Musk's ex, formerly Twitter, understand, whatever cringe nonsense you're seeing out of me is part of a greater goal of harvesting the right reaction out of people that actually matter. I'm so good at it, I can explain my technique and it only makes the curse more powerful. I'm what some of these idiots wish they were. Someone who tells the truth without reservation, and I'm willing to sacrifice it all so the truth can set others free even if it locks me up that's not what makes me a voice it's what makes me the voice beta testers thank you for pushing this message because without you youtube would have that real stranglehold on any and everything and you guys i think the best way to sum up where the internet is going is a picture of black and indian people as the pope because there is a line, we've stepped over it, and now a lot of the weirdos that need to be swept out of the door in the way of the layoffs that are hitting gaming soon are signaling just how anti-white and anti-straight and anti-anything they disagree with is. It's the opposite of equality, it's the opposite of inclusion, but they're going to pretend, they're going to wave those banners, they don't believe in them, and the second that it becomes inconvenient for them, it will be another thing that they just cast out. Forgive this lightly edited video, I love you to death, thank you to the patrons, the sponsors, to every one of you liking and commenting to push this up. There are plenty of things you know I could package right now and show you in the way of all of these different people needing to say, I can't stand white men, I can't stand straight, but you want to let them run their mouth first, you know what I mean? Drop your cup sizes in the comments to jump in the discord, things like that, I don't, you know, I'm trying to do better, right? For you, you deserve it. Can you believe it? 90,000? You know, that's all you guys, and there will be a celebration. It's just, you don't want to drink, sir, you know? Don't you feel like the second we celebrate something's going to be like, man, love you, and I'll see you in the game. And this shit into the ground. Have you seen these people online likening teabagging to the fucking Holocaust? Wow, get the fuck out of this industry. Ew, my god. These people, no doubt, are probably offended by emotes in Fortnite. He killed me and is doing a dance. This is harassment. I'm being killed. I'm being murdered. Help. <laughs> These companies hire psychologists to trick their customers and keep them in check, but you can't trick talent into these developers. Oh, rats.